Hello, I'm Simon Bingham, and this is part of my JNCI Enterprise series on BGP path selection. Okay, we're down to number three in the list. Prefer the path with the higher local pref preference. Um, I have to say, with just about everything in routing pro protocols, um, lower is usually better. Um, in this case, uh, this is a local preference is an exception. Um, so, um, just worth think remembering that. Um, so what is local preference? Well, local pre preference is an attribute which is um, remains within a autonomous system, so it doesn't go between um, EGP peers, and it allows you to influence uh, what's preferred. So we've, we've been through the list, and this is really the first of the major sort of things that we are likely to tweak in order to determine the path out of a network. So as as for the usual as my videos, what I will do is I will just show you. So if we jump onto my sort of R10 here, for a quick look at my diagram again. Um, R10 is my router up here. Oops, it's my router up here. And let's have a look at the route. I like what we're doing is that we're always looking at a route that we're learning from here, okay? And it's being advertised across all these, and it's getting to here. So let's have a look at 14. So you can see here we've got. Um, this route learned. Um, all things being equal, it's actually using the IGP metric to determine where to send it. But that's not really the, the, the subject of this video. Now, what I want to do is I want to um, influence the local preference value. So make one of these higher. So at the moment, it's choosing the route via 13. So it's choosing to reach um, the the prefix that we're talking about here um, in this fashion here. So we're going to influence this and make it go this way. But well, there's lots of different ways to actually to do to, to, to do this. Um, first, I think I'll do the crude crudest, which is if we configure on here um, a local preference value, I think it will um, basically tell all these that my local preference value for all my routes are better. So you really want to come to me first. So what I'll do is I'll jump onto four. I'll jump onto twelve, and we will go. Configure edit protocols BGP really group what's it gonna be called? AS underscore forty show and let's do set set local preference to one ten and commit. So I think this influences all the route you advertise. Let's have a quick look. I haven't practiced this <laughs> as usual. So have a look at what we've got here. Hey, look, straight away, I've done it. So that's really a pretty crude approach to this. Um, certainly something you could do, but I mean, I mean, what might be smarter here really is to, is to do something more specific with the policy. So let me just do do that actually. So let me just um, go. Um, let's delete this. By the way, let's just reiterate what we saw here. So what we've seen, we've seen it no longer considers either path, both paths. It's now only considering the path via thirty uh, via dot twelve because it's still it's a higher local local preference value. So rather than using this sort of blunderbuss approach, let's um, be a bit more a bit a bit more sophisticated about how we do this. So one thing I could do is we could influence the export policy. So let's say. Um, Let's do top edit policy policy options show and let's have a look it's probably going to be my into ITP one. So let me do edit protocol policy statement IBGP show. This is very important directly connected, which we don't really need, but uh, let's do one let's do a term here. So let's do set term. Let's call it A or something. There. From well, we could just do the from group fill. So I would fifty two. It was twenty four, wasn't it? Uh, is it fourteen? We're looking at. Yes, it is. So let's have a quick look at 14. So we will go, where was I? Um, or 12. So let's say 
if it's from 14. Then, then local preference 110 commit. Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. It's worked. Okay. So we've got it. So if we now do show protocol, show, run show root, show root. Um, we can see here it's going to prefer, and if we just do one sec, okay, it doesn't even seem to list the other actually, it's interesting. So detail. No, don't say it. okay. So it doesn't doesn't even consider it at all. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. You can. I know I'm, I'm labouring the point here, but you can also. I've, I've used an export policy policy there. Um, so what really that's probably the best thing to do because it will advertise to all of these it will say if you want to go to this route um, come in effect you know all these will have the, that as their preferred route to that to that destination via him and um, you can also do it as an import policy so again um, you can influence um, obviously with an export policy we're influencing what leaves the routing table to these devices but you can do it as an import policy and influence what comes into the routing table here um, if you wish to let's do that quickly let's deactivate turn deactivate We've got two routes again. So now it's influ in influenced this as an import policy on R10. So I'll influence how that comes into the routing table. So let's do, um, I'm going to do it right here. So let's do set term one from, from root filter. Exact set to exact, uh, then then local preference, lo local preference. Just add ten to let's, let's try something new. Let's just add ten to it. Commit. In fact, let's do it. Let's do it differently. Let's do it twenty. So we can prove that things have really changed. And let's have a look on. Oh, we're on the same router, so let's do show route. Run show route one hundred zero 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 dot fourteen slash thirty two. And it's not been affected. Okay, so quick look. Oh, because this term is beneath this term. So we've got to go insert term one before term yeah, term, term one before term two. Term, commit. OK, 
Okay, there we go. Now here's an interesting point. I haven't actually influenced the path selection here. All I've done is say this route, wherever it comes from, it has as a higher local preference. So that is actually pretty pretty useless. Um, but what we could do, we could actually amend this statement a little bit further and go set term one from root filter from neighbor So now it will only influence the one it receives from there. So we should now, if I repeat this again, get this from, there we go. So now I've, I've influenced this and I've encouraged it to head to this, this neighbor here. Um, I think personally doing, doing it as an import is quite a dangerous thing to do because um, what you may well do is is have a problem where one device decides to send it back so I mean it probably will work in just a run ping run ping um, I'm only advertising the loopback sent to this network so I have to do the source uh, oh, sorry. Ten. okay it's working okay thank you and my next video let's look what next video is going to be on Choosing the path with the shortest time of system. Okay, that'll be the next one. Okay, thank you. Bye.